Hey guys, I'm Mahdi Khoui, I'm a digital sculptor. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I bake my models inside Marmoset Toolbike and go over some of the settings I usually use to get clean and accurate bakes. So here I got my high poly model. And first thing I'm going to do is going to lower subdivision and then let's make a duplicate, delete higher. Or maybe before that, layers, bake all, delete higher. And then let's go to the plugin, UV master, and turn off symmetry and turn on polygroup. Use flatten to see the UVs. This is not bad, but. Maybe just make this one group and try again. Yeah, I think this is good enough. I mean, the UVs aren't perfect, but for the purpose of this tutorial, they're more than good enough. So yeah. Copy UVs and the plugin. Paste UVs. All right, let's export it out. Bake and creature underline low and bake. Yeah, and go higher and let's decimate the high poly. All right, maybe 40% is good enough. Yeah, it's okay. Export, bake and high. Let's unwrap this one as well. Polygroup, unwrap. For this one, I can go to geometry, zero measure, and maybe thousand. But before that, hold on Control N. Click on your under history to save the history here. And then maybe. Yeah, I think this one is good enough. And divide project and project history. One more time. Okay, this is good enough. Low subdivision. Unwrap and let's export it out. All right, and let's export the eye as well.
doesn't really matter, it's just a placeholder. So yeah, I think this is good. And let's go to Marmoset. And let's create bake project. And eyes. Tongue, creature itself, and the teeth. All right. Add another big group. Creature high and creature low here. Another one. If high and this low. All right. Now I can add curvature and bend occlusion. And let me see. ID, maybe cavity and thickness. And yeah, I think this is good enough for now. And let me flip by here as well. And 4K. Multiply texture set. Now let's add a destination for baking maps. Doesn't really matter. Let me use PNG. And let's hit bake and see the result. All right, preview material. And yeah. Before baking, I had to assign different materials. Multiple texture sets, yeah, now it's fine. And uh, let's try to bake it again. Yeah, now it's working, 15 maps. Preview, and there we go. And we get all the details. Let's change the color to see them better and let me hide the creature and yeah. I'm going to ambient occlusion and let's ignore groups. And we just need the emit occlusion. So bake again. Mm. 
Nice, much better. All right. And the cool thing about Marmoset is that you can easily let me sign another one to this. Yeah. The cool thing about Marmoset is uh, you can easily go here in Tank, for example, and let me do it offline. There we go. And I can change the offset for the cage easily, you know, for each one uh, separately. If I turn on the creature. I'm not seeing any artifact here, but let's make sure. Everything seems to be okay. I don't need to change the cage. But yeah, I can easily change that. And that's really to help you to get a cleaner result. Or I can paint the offset. Here I can do that or hold on control or to have a bigger offset here. Or I can clear it all, and since it's all good, I can ignore it. But yeah, that's why I'm using Marmoset for baking the maps, because I have more control over the bakes, and I can get a cleaner result. So overall, for me, it really depends on the project. If it's a quick prop or something small, painters built in baker is perfectly fine, but for bigger stuff like characters, armor sets or anything with tons of objects are usually bake in marmor set. It's just faster to manage and gives more uh, consistent results. And all right, so that's my usual baking setup in, inside marmor set tool bag. Simple, clean and super flexible when you're working with multiple meshes or complex models. In the next video, we'll take this bakes map into Substance Painter and start some basic texturing. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next one.